psychic by the name of Bill Burns, who is also the name of a very popular anchorman in a large city in this country, by the way. I don't know if you know that or not. But uh, rather than have a stock written down uh, introduction, we'll just read some quotes from a brochure that tells us about Bill. It says, Psychodynamics enabled me to achieve a level of self-realization I didn't know was possible. I learned so much. So says a fine art dealer. And then in keeping with the current flow of the show. Every aspect of my life has changed for the better. My career has seen more progress in the last year than it has in the last five. So says an actress. How come we don't have anybody's name? That's what I want to know. Why do we have... Royalties. Names? Royalties. <laughs> if their name is on the brochure. <laughs> Absolutely. The attorney, there's an attorney here. There's a professional hypnotist that's here. Okay, how, how do you help this actress with psychic powers? Uh, or how does the psychic powers help an actress to change her career? Well, in the first place, my approach to the psychic is that it's a tool. And if it's not giving you the information that's required to put you in charge of your own life, then it's useless. If it's just one of these things that says something nice is going to come up down the road and uh, don't do anything with your life and it'll show up and you'll be terrific for a week, then it's not really of much use. What I do when I read for a client is I give them some information as to what's blocking them, how they've developed their insecurities, how they're holding on to some of them, how some of their behavioral patterns may have come uh, between themselves and the goals that they want to achieve. And by giving them that information and perhaps some suggestions as to how to resolve the situation, we're able to free up areas that quite often create massive blocks and stand in the way of people. With the actress in, in question, who at this point is having a revival in her own career, um, it was a situation where getting in touch with a lot of that visceral material left her feeling very inadequate, very unstrong in front of the camera. So the minute she was trying to project something, this wall would come up. And so she was restricted to roles in which she played heavies. And, um, do you teach these people to do this themselves, or do they go to consult, say, you or another psychic to, to learn? Quite frequently, we will make the suggestions ourselves, but we do a great deal of referral business uh, with psychotherapists and with physicians, in fact, most professionals, and they in turn send some of their clients back to us. Um, but for the most part, people have within their own hands the ability to turn these things around. People still have a fear, though, <coughs> of, of uh, psychic phenomena, I guess, uh, or, oh. or being psychic, or, or of meeting a psychic is immediately sit next to you think, well, you know what's going to happen to me, right? Yes. Yeah. I mean, do you like pick up vibrations immediately from people every time you're around them, or is it something you can turn on and off? No, it is something I can turn on and off. And I think it's important that people know that we're not omnipotent. That if I'm doing a reading on you, for example, on that period in your life when you finally decided, interestingly enough, your last guest was talking about wanting to sell, if you're going to be a success in this field, um, you've made that decision. You made that decision at 24. You fought the decision up until 24, and you made it. Now, if I want to locate that for you, and I want to bring that up, because you're now facing the same decision in terms of taking a risk, going from something very secure to branching out into um, an additional activity um, concurrent with the show, um, then I'm going to open up for that. I'm going to look for that in you. And I'm going to pursue that until I reach the end of it. I'm not at the same time finding out about your home life or about your social life oh. or about... See, I thought no. maybe it all just like hits you all at no. once, you all of a sudden just... No, I may stop and you may ask me a question about your home life or I may refocus on it and come up with that information. But everybody has a screen and I think that's something people need to understand. I can only give you what you can handle. Otherwise, I don't pick that information up because readings are designed to be helpful and supportive. And although they're very honest, and they don't just tell you the good things, they show you how to deal with the things that are less advantageous. Yeah, there are more and more people, it seems, uh, that are involved not only in, in this, but they're, they're going to astrologists, and they're going to this thing and that thing to find out their futures. <coughs> you, do you put yourself in that same category, or is the psychic powers a whole other end? Well, I think that we have basically similar abilities. I think the psychic is able to pinpoint you without the use of arbitrary standards as in astrology. Um, 
that makes us sometimes a little less precise in terms of actual date, but it often gives us a great deal more flexibility as to not only the information, but the supporting information and the meaning of it and what you can do with it. I'm not going to talk about your astrological aspects. I'm going to talk about your career prospects, which is, mm -hmm. I think, very important. Um, I also think that people for years have treated us as magic wands, that if they come to us, we solve it where my view of it is that we have the ability to give you the tools to solve it for yourself. And uh, I think that's exciting because a lot of people at this point in life, in, in this day and age, are coming to the point where they want that control. Unlike 10 years ago where we wanted everybody else to solve it for us, today people are getting more and more excited about having their own control over their own life, and we just give them the information, I guess, that makes that a little easier. Does everybody have psychic powers? Well, not everybody, but I think a great many people do. It's like playing the piano. Some people can play chopsticks, and some people can play concert. Some concert pianists don't want to practice, and so they don't have the ability for all practical purposes at all. But I have yet to meet a talk show host who does not have considerable intuitive ability. Because while you may know your guest in absentia, and you may have generated information about him, most of your most telling questions come up when they're seated here and you're seated there. And that's psychic? And that's psychic. But remember, really? psychic ability doesn't feel psychic to psychic people. It just feels normal. Oh, uh, I'll bet you've heard this line a million times from hosts that say, I know what's coming next to commercial. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even want to say that, but I had, I had to say that. <laughs> okay. Good. Well, thank you, Bill, for coming by. Thank you very much. All righty. Oh, you've got a seminar coming up we wanted to mention, right? Yes. On the 16th at the Wilshire Hyatt Hotel, there's a seminar on being yourself in spite of yourself, and on the 25th and 6th, there's a uh, self-development course in how to put it all together. But they can always call us. But that's here in Los Angeles. That's correct. But you travel around the country, though, and do... Absolutely. Movies. Absolutely. We're in the phone book. Okay. Thank you, thank Bill you. Burns. And when we come back, we're going to talk about great skin from the author of How to Have Great Skin at Any Age.